Good morning everyone! So for today's video, I am going to be filming a get ready with me style video. The reason why I wanted to do this is because it's super simple and I feel like it's a very pretty and feminine type of look that incorporates not only that glass glazed skin type of trend, but I'm also showing you guys products that have been some of my favorite products that I feel like I haven't given enough credit. The type of products that make these types of looks effortless and kind of foolproof. I'm basically showing you guys a lot of my current favorite products. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now to save you guys the grief and also myself the grief, I've already gone ahead and based my skin. Now to explain to you guys the products that I've used on my skin, I'm gonna go over it very quickly. The first product I use is my cleansing water. This is the Bioderma. I just swipe this all over my skin to make sure that my face is nice and clean and ready for the skincare that I'm applying. I then went in with my Belief Baquav Bomb Mist. I absolutely love this stuff. It's a really fast easy way for me to pump some moisture into my skin. Now this step is definitely <laughs> popped the lid off with my head. <laughs> this step is definitely the type of step that you can either do or skip depending on your skin type. Like I said, I have really dry skin so my skin just sucks this up. Especially during the winter time, I need this type of moisture so I put a layer of this on. And then if I feel so inclined, I have also talked about these in the past. These are from Patchology. These are the rejuvenating eye gels. I pretty much use these every single day. Like one of the thickest eye gels I've ever used and they're just like little patches and it just kind of helps with the fine lines so my makeup doesn't catch in those fine lines. Now the last skincare product that I applied on my skin is from Cosrx. This is the Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. Now my friends, this is one of those foolproof type of products I was talking about in the beginning of this video. When it comes to that kind of glazed or glassed dewy type of skin, and it's from VDL. I know you guys have heard about these products before, but I wanted to give them a shout out because these are absolutely amazing, and I've actually been using their VDL Lumi Layer Primer for like as long as I can remember getting into Korean Beauty. So the original Lumi Layer Primer is the one that is cool tone, so it has this beautiful lilac-y iridescence to it. And I have said this about this product in the past when I've mentioned it in other videos, but this is definitely one of those types of products that gives you that glow from within when it's underneath your foundation. They also have a satin veil primer, which is excellent for those of you guys who might have oily skin or combination skin, and you prefer something a little bit more semi-matte or matte, this will help control oil. But instead of just drying your skin out, which sometimes primers will do, this doesn't do that at all. Actually, instead it adds moisture while keeping the oil control at bay. And then for this video, I'm going to be using this guy here, and this is the Lumi Layer Primer Fresh. This is actually my favorite out of the three. And I like this because this is a more natural looking type of primer on my skin. As you can tell, I have a little bit of a warmer undertone, so this has more of a rosy type of complexion to it. So I like this because this really makes my skin look healthy, it looks glowy and gorgeous, and like I mentioned, it just kind of takes the guesswork out of <laughs> dewy skin or glass skin or glazed skin. Boom. Now I've definitely just applied this primer and then <laughs> left my house when I'm having like good skin days or I just can't be bothered. I'll put a code in the description box below if you want to pick any of these up for 15% off. Now this next product actually isn't a Korean product. This is actually from Girl Lactic and this is the soft powdered eyebrow pencil and I just use the shade brown. I've actually been really enjoying this lately because with my eyebrows I've been going for a more naturally sculpted type of look. So for me, this is a perfect shade for my skin tone, hair color, eyebrow hair color. <laughs> Instead of making my eyebrows look like waxy or like super structured, it just kind of softly fills in areas where my eyebrows are sparse. Now for my eyes, I'm keeping it very simple, girly, and natural because obviously the main draw of this look really is the skin and perfecting that overall look so you don't want anything to be too dramatic or draw your eyes to a particular point of your face. And because of that, I am going to be using this product here to base my eyeshadows. This is from Pony Effect. This is the Unlimited Cream Shadow in the shade Open Minded. I really like this because it reminds me of the MAC Painterly Paint Pop, but I like this one better because it's more on the dry side, which helps when it comes to blending out eyeshadows. Moving on to the eyeshadows. Now, again, I've mentioned these before in past videos, 
But I think it speaks volumes when I'm using products <laughs> for like years, how much I really like them because I try a lot of products. And these are the Mono Eye Single Eyeshadows from Aritom. I have been testing out some of their matte eyeshadows because I really like a matte look when it comes to having a dewy skin dewy face. <laughs> so the first thing that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take this shade here. This is in the shade M11. I can't be bothered to read the Korean because it's too small for my eyes to see it right now. <laughs> Sorry. You're literally going to see how fast <laughs> this look is that I've been rocking lately, these types of looks. I'm just dusting this all over my eye with a blending brush. Next, I'm going to take this color in the shade M03 and I'm going to take that same brush pick up some on the tip, and then I'm just going to carve out my crease. This really is just acting as a shadow, so you can see where my natural crease is. It's <laughs> This is more meant to just kind of define your natural eye shape. And then we're gonna use the lashes, which are gonna go on next along with the eyeliner to really kind of define the eye shape. Now, I don't hear a lot of people talking about this eyeliner. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I could quite possibly be wrong. But I really love this Vanilla Co. eyeliner. This is the I Love. This is the Deep Black Eyeliner Pencil. And this has to be one of the creamiest, darkest, longest lasting, black pencil liners I've used. The creaminess helps because as you're applying it to your eye, it just kind of glides on. And then once it sets, it is set. Like it is not going to budge. So if you have oily eyelids, just apply it, let it dry on your lids, keep your eyes closed, whatever you gotta do. And then once it's set, you'll be good to go. Now the lashes I'm going to be using are from Pony Effect as well. I'm actually probably gonna have to throw these away after I wear them today because I have probably worn them couple too many times, but I guess that's a testament to how long lasting these are. Now the reason that these are among some of my favorite eyelashes is because Pony does a really good job of making very natural but flirty and girly type of eyelashes. They're not those type of eyelashes where you're going to create your own wind current with them every time you blink. Even like the little details she does, like you're not even going to be able to see this on camera, but there are some more hair fibers on the end there. Oh, maybe you can see that which kind of draws the eye out, makes it a little bit longer, gives you that cat eye effect. <laughs> Waiting for it to dry now. Don't move. The mascara I'm gonna be using is from Holika Holika, and this is the Magic Pull Mascara. I really like this mascara. Again, I've been using it for years. And the reason that I really like this mascara in general and why it's good for applying false lashes is because the formula of this is a bit stiffer because it's meant to hold a curl in your lashes. So if you have a hard time holding a curl, I'd recommend this mascara. But it's also good for like meshing your natural lashes in with the strip lashes and getting them to stay in there. So for my face, I'm going to be using this from Too Cool For School. This is the Art Class Liquid Air Foundation. I use the shade number four, and this is one of my favorite foundations. I don't know if I've really heard a lot of people talking about this. This is a very natural type of foundation that's also very lightweight. And I was actually wearing this one time, had someone stop me and be like, what is on your skin? And I was like, you want me to write it down? <laughs> now in my other glass skin video, I was kind of showing you guys I was misting as I was going along. So I would like mist the air puff, apply the foundation, Miss Air Puff apply my concealer, which I still highly recommend, like I still do that. But if I'm looking for something a little bit quicker, I'm kind of using the primers as a substitute for that step, so. Now I'm really nitpicky when it comes to my skin, so I'm gonna take a concealer and just kind of spot correct some areas that I want a little bit more coverage. And I'm gonna be using the Misha Cover Maestro Tip Concealer. This is one of my favorite concealers. I don't know why no one's talking about it, or again, if someone has, I just haven't seen it, but this concealer is so good. Like, it is seriously rivaling my The Sem Cover Perfection Tip Concealer, and we all know how much I love that concealer. So yeah, this is really good. And of course, when it comes to my field, I have to try a lot of different makeup products and concealers, and I always find myself coming back to this one. Okay, so as you can see, I still have that like beautiful, glow to my skin. I'm gonna use a teeny tiny bit of powder on my skin, but I'm not just using any old powder. No, my friends, this is one of my favorite powders ever. Like I will be so sad if they ever discontinue this. I will be that person that's gonna buy like 10 of these, but this is from Vanilla Co. This is the Prime Primer Finish Powder in the Hydrating Formula. <laughs> uh, this is so good and I have just discovered it this year, even though I've had it for years. I have literally been so sad because this again is one of those foolproof type of products that you apply it on your skin and it doesn't give you that like dry matte type of look. Instead, it just gives you that like 
perfectly set, soft type of look. So it's just, you'll see what I'm talking about, but essentially I'm gonna use this under my eyes and just kind of where I tend to crease. If I don't set my makeup, I will crease. But instead of setting everywhere, I'm gonna do what I call selective setting, which is just selecting where I wanna set and setting it there. <laughs> do I look cute yet? <laughs> To finish off my face makeup, I am going to be adding on, this is again, one of my favorite products that I love that I feel like doesn't get enough recognition. And this is the Sugar Ball Cushion Blusher. This is from Aritam and this is a cream formed blusher, <laughs> as the name implies. <laughs> and it looks like this. And the shade that I'm going to be using is number five, Creamy Rose. This had to have been like one of my first cream blushes that I used from Korea, and I honestly fell in love with that Daisy Coral. Got me started on these Sugar Ball Cream Blushers, and I have never looked back. Now, last but not least, I am going to be applying a lip balm to my lips. This is from Peri Pera. This is the Milk Moist Lip Balm in Peach. Also, another product I have been loving. I will say, this is not a very good moisturizing product, so I purely use this because I like that it's kind of a semi-matte type of balm that's not super glossy, so I don't feel like I've got like a big oil slick on my mouth, but at the same time, it just like makes my, my lips look, I don't know, you'll see. I don't know, it's just like one of those products that's literally like my lips but better, but it's like, does she have chapstick on? Or are her lips just naturally that beautiful? I don't know, but for me, this kind of goes hand in hand with the look I'm going for today because everything on my face is kind of meant to look like, is she wearing, <laughs> did she take like an hour to do her makeup? Or did it take like five? <laughs> I don't know, you tell me. Anyways guys, so this is my finished look. I've actually been noticing in a lot of my videos recently, you guys have been asking, what is on my skin? Why does my skin look so glowy? And as you can see, this is pretty much exactly what I've been doing to my skin as of lately, as well as this type of eye makeup and I guess lip makeup if you want to call it that. But this is the general type of look I've been rocking lately. But if you guys are interested, again, I will put that code for 15% off the video. Lumi Layer products in the description box below. And surprise, there's also a giveaway which I am running on my Instagram as well as VDL's Instagram. So check the description box for details on that in case you want a chance to win some makeup products because yeah, that's always fun, isn't it? Eee. Besides all that, like I always do, I'll put product links in the description box below. And as always, I hope you guys are happy and healthy and don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.